Hello, I'm Entrelissim and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. We're Elysium Racing and we are in the European Tier 3 Series currently. We're not doing great. We need to pull our boots up. We need to get on. We need to do slightly better. So, let's continue. Right, repairs of the car are completed. What are we improving currently? Seems like a good bet. Improving the reliability of those. Good. Alright, keep going. So just get some drivers. That's our suspension coming up on the 23rd. So, let's design another part. We'll go for another suspension. And, ooh, what do we want here? Build time increase is probably worth it. It'll still be done before the race. Not that we will want to put a reliability 45 part in. Unless we went for that, the reliability increase would be good enough to be able to put it in. We could totally do that. Except we'll make it just really low reliability and we'll just work on it. Wait, can I have multiple average parts? Multiple good parts? But great is locked. Ah, we need a handling development center at level one. Right, so we can't use great parts because we don't have the right building. So instead, we can put a second good part in. Okay. Well, we could go for this risky one, but there's no point, really. Decreases the build time, but that's not something I'm to worry about. It'll be done after the race. Whatever. That's fine. We're going to work on it. If only we had a handling center. We should go find how much that costs. Wait, does that mean we actually got two suspensions already? We might have built two suspensions, in which case we're fine. Yeah, we had built a suspension. Your reliability, twenty percent. Yeah, we're not fitting you. Suspension. Work on improving those. Forty days after race. That's going to take a while. No. Instead, we'll design a new part and. We haven't done brakes yet. Brakes is the only part we haven't done. Deceleration increase to max, so we'll need to improve it. Red zone decrease or reliable increase. Uh, I guess we'll just do deceleration. Sure. This is where we start to run a little bit close on the cash. In theory, we'll have about three mil left. In theory. Now, that does mean we can play around with the uh, cash we do have. Right, who do we want to scout next? Mm. Let's look for people in the European Racing Series who we can scout. Who are young with a 2016 end contract. I do want some with a lot of room for uh, improvement. Right. How much was the uh, building we were talking about? Was it the Handling Development Center? Uh, we need a level 2 design center for this. 
and our design center is level one and cost eight mil. Oh, we cannot afford that. That is expensive. Oh dear. That is expensive. Yeah, no. But at least the factory is getting on, so we'll be able to actually improve our parts quicker. Yeah, we are not going to have anywhere near enough money for that. Okay, uh, one thing we could do, I've been looking at, is set the budget for next year's car. We're currently spending 0.7 mil. We could increase that to 1 mil per race. This will determine how good our car is going to be next year. So better parts supplies you can afford when you hit the end of the, next, uh, end of the season. Better supplies you allow you to make the best possible chassis stat. tempting. It's very tempting. Intermediate tires were more slowly. Ah, cool. Yeah, we're going to go fat stacks. We'll drive it to be allowed in the European Racing Series. Ooh. Driver aids mean that the driver will have less of an impact on the car's performance. The rule change clearly favors the rich teams with better HQs who can afford to develop the car without any consideration of cost. Ooh. This is going to be an interesting one. I think we'll have to vote against that. Because we haven't... I mean, we've not got great drivers, but we've also really not got great cars. At least our drivers are middle of the field. Our car is trashed here. Of course, it only applies next year. And we are investing a lot into our car. Media training. We both know Andre can present himself better when it comes to interacting with the press. Famous communication expert Brendan Stone has a slot available in his renowned How to Talk Right media training course. Should we sign him up? A million. We'll increase our marketability. You know what, let's keep some money at the end of the season. So that we can afford really good drivers. And you know what, I'm going to say no to this because I'm planning to save up for new drivers. PR's overrated. New brakes. We'll also design another set of new brakes. Risk level, eh. I mean, the deceleration is really nice, though. Plus 50. Plus 40 during qualifying. Oh, you know what? This is the only decent one. Plus 50. Because that's only during qualifying. We don't actually have a qualifying period. This one increases reliability at the cost of deceleration. It is risky. It is really risky. We are at low risk of being caught for a rule break on that one. Let's do it. Okay. We could fit these brakes, but the reliability is uh, a bit shaky there. I hope we're not using the new suspension. Yeah, we're using the average suspension, that's fine. Okay. Right, let's do the vote. Two, four, three against. I think I'm gonna come down and against. Oh, the rule will benefit teams with weaker drivers. Technically, 
This will be beneficial to us. But our car is trashed here. I'm going to abstain. Okay. Five votes. Ooh, they've packed up so much of their uh, saved voting power. Rejected. Six, five. Okay. I mean, you know, our drivers aren't the best, but our car is so low that if we're relying on our car alone, it's not going to work for us. Sunday shows a 4% chance of rain. Okay. 4% chance of rain. It says here, Sunny. Yeah, yeah, telemetry center, etc. Blah, 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 blah. I'd love to. Don't have the money. What was that? No idea. Ah! Asia Pacific and World Motorsport are both coming. Okay. Okay, so our brake design is finished. Got two new parts that we can fit. We could make a new part. I'm not gonna. Costs a lot of money. And we're, uh, we've got a new part for every bit of the car other than the bits that are specialized, like the, the front and rear wings. So we're good on that one. Improving parts. Good choice to autofill. I approve. Wow, that's going to take you a long time. Okay. Let's go to the race. Not screw up. 13th or above. Part fitting. We're not going to add any extra parts at the moment because we're still working on reliability. Let's race. Oh, sorry, Ardennes is not in Germany. I said Germany last episode, didn't I? It's it's Belgium. Obviously, I, how did I even miss the flag? Of course the Ardennes is in Belgium. There was a whole, like, big, big fight over it in World War I. I feel silly now. Oh, well, just offended, like, you know, one of my bigger viewer bases. It's cool. Okay. Press feedback stats out. Change the setup to higher downforce and handling is going to have to come down. Seems reasonable. What do we want to do for tires? We could practice on intermediates. I hope that it rains and then we'll have the intermediate buff. We could go softs and just hope that the softs last us so we don't have to do too many pit stops. I'm going to say super soft though. We'll probably have to pit anyway for fuel. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Go for it. Super soft. Right, Gomez, out you go. Stint, one lap, race trim, go. Fiera, same. I'll bring you in immediately. Why not? Don't even need to get a decent lap time. We just need to get a feel for the car. Ooh, nasty bends around here, though. I like the track. 
Put your limiter on the straight so you want a higher top speed. A much higher top speed. You want a much higher top speed. Wow, okay, sure. We'll crank the handling up to here. Downforce is okay. So if we were to, say, put the downforce like there. We'll put you out on the same tyres. We'll save having to change the tyres over. Get the maximum experience. Right, everything but your downforce is getting good. So if we put the downforce like there. Try that out. No, no, you'll probably want more speed because it's uh, a very speed dependent track, apparently. Try that. And this time, go for your full lap. Good so far. Any complaints? Things being tweaked the wrong way? Neither of them are complaining. I really want that feedback, though. Air is feeling much nicer. Okay, good. Air setup is way nicer. Good. being held up by that car in front. Handling's better. Now onto a load of long straights, so uh, that's where they're going to be like, ah, I want the uh, top speed to be higher. Really sharp bend there. Speed bounce feels much better. There we go. They like the top speed increase. Alright, in lap. Oh, great. Excellent, good, good. That's better than we had. Okay, so the only way to bring this top speed is down. So try that. And we'll change tyres as well. Why not? Great, good, great. Okay. However, you preferred the handling where it was. Trying to get the... You know what? That'll be good enough. Right. Tire change. Gets all the experience in. Come on, let's get all that experience now. People are practicing on mix between soft and super soft, so... We don't know which one's going to be the most important come race day. Hey, it could be wet. There's a 40% chance of rain. According to our email. Although the weather forecast didn't say that. Perfect gear ratio. Nice. Not even a personal best there. Yeah, we should crack out uh, tier 2 on super soft and on a race trim. We'll crank it to the max since we're finishing. Feels right. Feels fantastic. 
Good to know. And we did crank out level two. Eight cars still finishing. Hmm, oh, okay. Take your time, folks. Our laps were the 16th and 17th. 16th and 18th fastest. Hmm, oh, not great. Not great at all. We'll have to go for it. Okay. Race day. Auto pick, auto pick. Starting fuel for six laps. It's a 13 lap race. Oh, you making it so annoying. Could we make that fuel last? Could we do what we did before and make that fuel last? Super softs are definitely the way to go here because we're going to have to be changing once. This is a very short race. Very, very short. Maybe I should change the uh, game over so that it's running on slightly longer say, uh, song, longer races. We're going to be done pretty, pretty quick at this rate. 13 lap race, okay. I think we make a plan and we stick to it. Excellent, great, excellent. Sure. Here's the plan. We conserve fuel. We try and make six laps of fuel last seven laps. It's got a really good setup, just up to about 98%. All great. Take it. And for you. Same. Okay. No sign of rain thus far. We should probably put someone on a split strategy of, of pitting twice. Because if it does rain, that will give us the advantage. Because we'll be pitting twice and we can make those adjustments. If we pit only once, we're going to have to make an adjustment on the fly. That means the extra pit stop and that means our strategy is blown. Our strategy of being conservative of our fuel will hurt us. Do we don't want to do that split strategy though? We're going to put Anthony on a split strategy of two, and we're going to put Gomez on a split strategy of pitting once. So Gomez is going to pit once, Anthony's going to pit twice. We'll make it work. But we will give you full fuel to begin. Oh, actually. That's a big difference if we can get rid of a little bit of fuel. Yeah, for the first few laps, let's put you on only four laps of fuel. We'll go for an early pit stop. Okay. Let's try it. From the very beginning, you're going to need to be concerned with that fuel. We're third and fourth because we suck. Okay. Go. And we're out. Gomez is already holding people up because of the conservative approach. Look, look at how far ahead Anthony is right now. Going through those bends. Anthony on the much lighter fuel load is really getting the benefit here. That's an extra, what, 0.7 seconds a lap? It's going to make a difference. Anthony's holding third right now. Should probably drop down to fourth soon, but... Uh, you know, we'll put you on pushing your tyres. Warm them up a bit. Same for you. Your tyres aren't warm. Uh, yeah, you're getting overtaken there. Not much you could do about that one. Really thought you'd collided there. Apparently not. Okay, Anthony, you got this. Come on. What comes down to our pit strategy? We can make it work. 
No taking. Oh, someone's crashed out. Someone's crashed out already. Okay. This tires are starting to get a little bit warm. Yours are adequately warm. You can afford to push them because you're going to be pitting early anyway. Oh, your pace is good. You're catching. Question is, do you enough fuel for one more lap? You do. Okay. You're going to have to pit on this lap. Weather seems to be good so far. It's for super softs. And then... Get five laps of fuel. Actually, if we give her four laps of fuel, and we could go for a pit stop five laps before the end, and try and overtake anyone else who's going to do a late pit. Okay, pit strategy. Doesn't make a difference. We'll do a safe. Right, go in. No fuel. That's fine. You got this. We might be one of the few people doing a double pit strategy with Anthony. It's probably not going to pay off. If that's the case. But how is everyone else doing fuel? Now, they must have a more fuel efficient car. That'll be why. We've got a terrible chassis, and chassis determines fuel efficiency. Well, there we go. There we go. Well, that is why we hedged our bets. We've got to make this fuel last. We've got to be able to get to lap 7. This is only lap 5. First place. Other people have pitted. Which means they must be doing a double pit strategy if they're pitting that early. There's nothing we don't know about the weather. Here's the issue. We're going to run out of fuel just before we get to that checkered line on the next run around. That's fine. We'll just have to run the next bit without fuel for a little bit. We'll just have to coast. Then I want you to pit for more super softs. Refuel. And we'll go for balanced. I can't risk fast. I can't risk fast. Not for the extra place. But we can risk balanced. That's only 10% increase. That's a 15% increase on balanced again. We're going to run out of fuel any second. Stop pushing your tyres. You're burning them out. You are in seventh. Not bad. That fuel is going to run out now. Oh, we made it! Now, burn that fuel. You've currently got excess. Okay, no longer got excess. Well, Anthony's up in sixth. We've got access. We'll try and save that a little bit. Okay, you're going to have to pit now. New set of super softs. We could do this. We could so do this. Go for a safe. likely see other people pitting because they pitted slightly earlier than expected so if they're going for that fuel we don't know if they're going for fuel though. all we can tell is their tyres 
So here we go. There are people pitting. There are people pitting. Gomez Rockets head to first. Get out of the pit lane. Get out of the pit lane. Come on, Anthony. You got this. In ninth. Okay. Gomez is in first. Gomez, open up on the throttle. Use a little bit more fuel. If you can hold first, we're good. I doubt you will. There's people coming up behind you. We should actually follow you right now. Come on, Gomez. We're in first. We're legit in first. Our tactic has paid off. Are we going to be able to hold it? Are we going to be able to hold it? Not a second climbing up behind us like that. We're not. Let's kick our engine into overdrive. You're having problems with the suspension? Well, it sucks to be you right now. That's all I have to say. Come on, Gomez! Push the tires harder. Come on, Gomez! Come on! No! Hey. Okay. Anthony, you're pretty safe in seventh. Up here, everything's to play for. Okay, second so far. We should have played that stretch on both. We should have played that stretch on both. We'd be we'd be second and third right now. Probably end up like second and fourth or second and fifth, but fuel is low. Tires are overheating. Doesn't matter. We just need to hold it. We're coming in now to the final straight. We're out of fuel. We dropped to third. No! We dropped to third. Ah. Oh. Meanwhile, Anthony. Everything to max. No, it matters. You're seventh. But that is a really good showing. That is an incredibly good showing. Third and seventh. Very nice. I am pleased with that. Seventh even with the double pit stop. Just because he pit early-ish. But the Gomez, that was a strategy. We did it. The single pit stop strategy worked. We're the only person to do a single pit stop. And that got us to third. Very, very pleased with that outcome. Look at number 19. What is wrong with number 19? Why have you got like an extra 40 seconds on 18? Oh. Having issues. Okay. Got that code check. Nonetheless, very good show. Look at Gomez there. It was beautiful. I don't know why anyone was running soft tires, because you didn't need them. You were changing over quickly enough with the fuel that they were kind of unnecessary. Like, you know, I understand the tire degradation wears out, but still. Yeah, we haven't fitted the dodgy part, so we're good. Very nice. Podium! We're on the podium! Oh, yes. We're on the podium. Oh, that split time! No! 0.15 second. Okay. We're now in 14th and 17th. We're going up. And we're now in 8th of the team! Which means our chairman is going to be happy. But my boys are listening racing were pretty close. Hashtag exciting! Oh, yes! That was a good outcome. I'll have to do that risky tactic more often. Technically, we did run out of fuel as we got into the pit lane. We did actually run out of fuel. But only just. 
That was tight. Race result. Expected eighth. You came first. Happiness. That just maxed you out. You're like, yeah. That was cool. New unlock. Ah, you and your uh, mechanic have got to level one, so you've now got refueling is 50% faster. Ooh. That's pretty cool. We could refuel more often, more quickly, and uh, just gun the engine harder. Not that that's efficient. Gunning the engine harder generally is not as useful as actually having less fuel to begin with, but yeah. Still, very, very nice. Pleased with that outcome. Oh, Bochamp getting the fastest lap. Fourth for staff, third for sponsors. We'll take it. We'll take it. But that's been it from today. We're going back to Munich. In 31 days time, that should be enough to be able to crank out some parts, get them a little bit better. Um, we'll also have a look at... I don't know, it's not time for drivers yet. Drivers have to come at the end of the season, we're only kind of midway through the season currently. But we're doing better. We're doing better. Hey, Anthony did pretty well even with a two-stop strategy, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, it's a very good run for us. I've been really see him. Like, subscribe, and until next time, let me know what you thought down below about that run. And stay shiny.